What's up? It's Ginny with Ginny's HorseProductReview.com. Today I'm going to share with you my top five tips to help prevent ulcers if you're going to be traveling with your horse. This is the important stuff that you need to know if you're ever trailering your horse. Whether you're a pleasure trail rider or you show or you're hitting the circuit, you need to know these tips to help prevent ulcers in your horse. Because if there's anything we know with all the latest research, it's that basically anytime a horse gets on a trailer, they're like, already trying to get an ulcer. So if you're like me and you're really worried about your horse's gastric health and you want them to be comfortable and happy on the trailer, definitely stay tuned for these five tips. My first tip for preventing ulcers when you're traveling with your horses is to put hay bags in your trailer. So a lot of people don't think about this, especially if you're going on short trips um, or there could be some misinformation out there about hay bags, but giving your horses forage while they're on a trailer helps them to keep that stomach full and help keep the gut moving and basically gives the acid something to work on rather than going straight to your horse's stomach. If your horses are shod and you're concerned about hay bags, always remember to tie them up high enough so that your horses couldn't get a foot stuck in them if they were going to paw at them. Personally, I love the small hole hay nets. This allows them a ton of forage, um, for however long the trip is, and you can even take that hay bag out when you get to your destination, your show, or your trailhead, or wherever you're going, and just hang it up right on the trailer so that they can continue to eat and keep forage on their stomach and in their gut to help buffer that acid and keep that acid from eating away at their stomach lining. Hay bags are super cheap. You can get them on Amazon, and I'll leave the link down below in the description to the hay bags that I like. You can stuff them ahead of time, hang them in your trailer so they're ready to go. And basically, once your horse gets on the trailer, they're gonna have forage, so they're gonna be happy and they're not gonna be worried um, quite as much when they're eating and chewing. We know that when that jaw's moving and when they're chewing, it helps to calm them too. So if you have a nervous traveler, a hay bag can definitely help. My second tip to help prevent ulcers when you're traveling with your horses is to feed some alfalfa. Now, if your horse isn't used to alfalfa, don't just throw a ton of them um, immediately before a trip because it can cause them to have diarrhea or a little bit of a loose stool if they're not used to it. So this is something that you definitely want to introduce gradually. But we know that alfalfa is high in calcium. It's definitely one of the more palatable hays for a horse, maybe a nervous horse. Um, so definitely get some alfalfa. And one of my favorite things to do is put a little bit in their hay bag. So they've got some alfalfa in there, maybe with their regular grass hay or whatever you usually feed them. Definitely sweetens the deal a little bit. And I feel like I'm adding that calcium to help buffer that stomach acid. My other favorite way to use alfalfa when I'm trying to prevent ulcers in the trailer is by soaking cubes or pellets. And this is a great way to ensure that your horses are staying hydrated as well. So you get moisture and your alfalfa forage like all in one go. And I have not met a horse that doesn't like to soak, soaked alfalfa cubes and soaked pellets. So definitely give this a try. I always, anytime before I trailer my horses, they get a bucket of soaked alfalfa cubes or pellets. Definitely get some hydration in there and some forage and alfalfa. And it's just a really great practice to get in the habit of before you travel with your horses. My third tip for preventing ulcers in the horse trailer um, are to utilize supplements that could help. And two of my favorites are Pro CMC and also Brewer's Yeast. And Pro CMC is a pink fluid and I have a video that you can go check out which is a review of Pro CMC. It basically is like a stomach acid buffer and it's a short term thing. It's not a long term treatment for anything, but it can help to coat the stomach lining and basically just make their tummies more comfortable for short periods of time. So if this is something that you want to preload before they get on the trailer and you can either put it in a syringe and put it in their mouths. Um, I think it's apple flavored. My horses like it. I just put it right on their soaked mash before they get on the trailer. And I think it's just another layer of protection. Brewer's yeast is another one. If you've seen my video about how I fixed my senior horse's occasional diarrhea problem, you know what a huge fan I am of brewer's yeast. It's cheap. It is literally like the number one ingredient in most really expensive gut health supplements for horses. There's proven research and studies to show that it can help to um, manage and basically just make the hind gut and the gut of an equine animal uh, more healthy and more stable. And I've certainly found it to be 
one of the more cost-effective, um, really great gut, gut health supplements. So my fourth tip for keeping your horses um, comfortable in the trailer and preventing ulcers and really taking care of their gut health is to use GastroGuard when needed. And this is a little more expensive and this is something I've used for horses that are not seasoned travelers or who are going on incredibly long trips. I've traveled cross country with horses several times and if I'm going to make those long trips, I will preload um, with GastroGuard or UlcerGuard. It's basically the same thing. And just, just to give them a leg up on travel. So that's something that you wanna look into if you're getting a new horse or a horse that's not really a seasoned traveler and you have a particularly long trip coming up, I would look into that. Um, I just think it's a really great idea, just as another layer, if that's something that you want to pursue. And it's a little more expensive than some of these other options, so it also depends on your budget and your situation too. Finally, my fifth and final tip for preventing ulcers in the trailer, and this is something that I think gets overlooked all the time, and this is how comfortable is your horse in the trailer? How comfortable is your trailer? I have seen horses ride in trailers that are you know, the people that are driving are just like wheeling around like crazy. Your horse is not comfortable back there and is probably developing ulcers if they're like having an awful time in the trailer. Um, if things are noisy back there, you know, try to find things that are clanking. You want your horse to be as comfortable as possible in the horse trailer um, to help them prevent um, being nervous and developing ulcers and things like that. You know, does your horse prefer to ride in a slant, straight load? stock trailer um for me it came down to we, we were doing a two-week cross-country move and our third horse at the time and who i still have if you're familiar with bamboozle he's 25 years old he has a little bit of arthritis and he's the reason we ended up buying a two plus one trailer which basically has two straight loads like the back is is like a two shoot straight load trailer and then the front is an actual box stall so i knew that he would be most comfortable if he had a box stall on long travel days where he could move around i just knew that it was going to be bad if i had him in my smaller slant trailer and he was just going to be like bound up for you know however many hours we were going to be on the road per day so definitely think about comfort your horse's comfort level, you know, or do you have an older horse? Is it a younger horse? And, and definitely pay attention to what they do and don't like in the trailer and do your best to make sure that they're as comfortable as possible. And if you wanna see a tour of my trailer, you can go check out this video right here. And it's, um, it's my dream trailer, so definitely check it out and let me know what you think. So those are my five quick tips to help prevent ulcers when you're traveling with your horses. Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to make sure you don't miss next week's video where I'm going to talk about how I keep my horses hydrated on the road. Until next time, happy trails!